how do I blend between two textures based on another texture? Now, this is an expansion of the how do I blend between two textures video, which was another one of these how do I videos. And here you can see the setup that we created in that video, where we have a linear interpolate that is blending between two separate texture samples that's being driven by an alpha value from a constant. What we're going to do is delete out this constant, which will give us an error, and we need to bring in a texture that we can use a genuine alpha channel from to control which texture is blended on what part of our object. Now, if that sounds pretty complicated, just watch this. We're going to grab a, uh, one of these texture samples and hit Control C, Control V. I'm going to hold down Control and drag this down here to the bottom of our little stack. I'm going to click on the Show Generic Browser button. Now, I have already created a very, very simple texture. It's really a derivative of a cloud filter from Photoshop. I've called it Noise and already imported it in. So we'll select this. I'll close out my generic browser, and let's click the Use Current Selection in Browser button. Now, I can take the alpha channel, which is the bottommost flag, the little white flag on the texture sample, and drag this into alpha. And if you're having a hard time visualizing exactly what's going on here, let me show you just kind of a little more, I guess, uh, in more contrast, what's going on by holding down Alt and clicking on the output from our second texture sample. We'll move this guy temporarily out of the way, and I'll hold down the 3 key and left click in its place. This is going to create a new constant 3 vector, and I'll just drag this right in here. We'll set its value to bright blue for now. And then I'll connect this over to input B. And now you can see what's actually going on. Based on the pixel value from our noise texture sample, we're controlling which of the two colors is being placed on the surface of our object. Now, naturally, again, you probably wouldn't want to use a color. I was just doing that for demonstration purposes. And here what we're doing is actually blending in between two separate textures. But that is how you blend in between two separate textures based on a third texture, which wraps up this How Do I video.